Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have somewhat of a more vulnerable video for you. I have a ton of eyeshadow in my collection that has either never really been used or very, very underutilized. So I figured I would kind of expose myself today, show you some palettes, talk about some palettes. Um, apologies if you hear my little one kind of grunt. She's laying beside me playing with her toys, but why don't we go ahead and get into it. As we get into this, I feel like I need a little bit of a disclaimer. The fact that our lives were just completely crazy and chaotic over the past year, that's a big reason as to why these palettes are underutilized. A lot of these were gifted to me. I would say about two thirds of these palettes were gifted to me from a good friend, thank you Lou. And the rest of them, some of them I bought for myself, but because we were moving from overseas and relocating and pregnant, and it was just a lot. So a lot of these, like I said, underutilized. I'm gonna go through two, I'm gonna start with two that technically kinda don't belong in this video anymore, but I, when I started planning this video months ago, <laughs> a couple months ago, these were going to be in this video. So these were two newer to me palettes. One of them was given to me and one of them I bought myself. Um, one is the Viseart Petite Pro 4, and hi. And it is more of like an apricot coral kind of color scheme. This one is, while newer to me, technically probably not supposed to be a part of this video because I did have this or I do have this in my current pan and every palette project. So I've used it more than a couple of times, at least this now. Along with this guy here, this is my Hello palette from Odin's Eye. And this is another one that I did end up rolling out of that project, but I have used almost every shade in this palette. Maybe not these dark deep ones, just because it's like spring, summery times. I just wasn't like feeling those shades yet, but the pinks and greens are great. And I actually am looking forward to using this a lot more during the summer, even if it's not in that project as of right now. These are two very, like very uh, summer appropriate palettes. All right, moving into two more palettes. These are palettes that honestly, these are probably the, my more shameful like palettes because these are not that new to me. Lou sent me these when I was living in Sweden and I used them maybe once, maybe twice. And then I kind of packed them away in anticipation of a move or I was working on other projects and they just kind of like fell to the wayside and I never reached for them again. So this one is the Fairy Tale C Color Eyeshadow Palette and it's the, Clo uh, the Too Faced Clover Palette dupe. And I, like I said, have used it like maybe once or twice. I think I've used it twice, which is kind of sad because it's such a beautiful spring appropriate palette. And I really need to reach for that more. Along with this guy here, this is the Mini Tropic Palette from Natasha Denona. And I think I've only really reached for the purple and like this icy blue shade. So another one that I definitely need to reach for while these colors, they just need to get used this summer is basically what I'm saying. All right, let's go through this next stack. This, These are all relatively newer to me. So I don't really feel too bad about the fact that I haven't really gotten to use these yet. This is another Viseart Pro, the Mini Pro 3 palette here really enjoy i've used this one time i used this like green shade here which is not going to focus but believe me it's very pretty and another one that's like this is such a good time of year to be reaching for them and now that i'm finally kind of like wearing makeup more often i'm very excited for that this guy here is the mini love palette from natasha denona another very pretty pinky palette and it's, I really like this like red shade here. I have not tried this one yet, but I'm so excited to. I should have used this in February, but I was still trying to get my life like together during that time frame. Another palette that I have not reached for yet, but I'm so excited. This color scheme is so unique. This is the Baroque palette from ColourPop. These like grayish blue tones, really, really pretty. Looks like a great like date night palette. So I haven't really been on a date <laughs> anytime soon uh, or recently at all. So maybe when I finally get to go on a date with Beau, um, this will be a nice one to reach for. I'm like eyeballing this ritzy shade up here. Let me just watch it. I got to. It's really pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got like a little bit of like a pinky undertone to it. Very pretty. Uh huh. I also have two Aether Beauty palettes that I have not tried yet, or maybe I did one look with this guy, but um, I have not really, I had not tried this brand at all, honestly, before she give, gave these to me. This is the Summer Solstice palette. Uh, very pretty, like, warm tone. This looks like a great everyday summer palette, and I really desperately need to try that out soon. Along with the Rose Quartz palette, another one that is really pretty. It looks more like what I would reach for in, like, 
late fall slash winter really really pretty another like really kind of romantic almost date night kind of look palette so i'm really excited to try those out then she gave me a face palette here i have laura mercier opening night cheek palette i have used this actually a good bit now but and again this was one of those palettes that i put in my bin to talk about earlier on and i'm just now getting around to filming this video so um i really like the blush and the bronzer are pretty nice but the highlight isn't like is impactful it's more subtle and i guess i was just expecting it to be a little bit more like in your face but it's not all right next up i have two violet boss palettes and I had not tried the Violet Boss Matte Formula. I have like a shimmer palette from her, but I really am excited to get my hands on these guys. Actually, this one just rolled into my Pan in Every Palette Project Pan. Um, this is the Like a Boss Palette. Very pretty, especially like I think late summer, early fall. I'll feel really, well, I need to start reaching for it now since it's in, in that project, but it looks like it's a very appropriate palette for that time of year. And I'm someone who does kind of tend to reach for palettes in a seasonal kind of way it just makes more sense to me creatively because i'm not that creative and then this is taupe notch i look at this palette and like i'm like wow that's a very monotone palette at the same time i have worn one look from this palette and it was so pretty so i'm excited to like repeat that look so this is another one that i've only used once but i'm excited to continue to use this one and then probably the one that she sent me most recently that i am like, I was shocked. My jaw dropped, hit the floor. I was so stinking excited because I've been wanting this palette for so long. Oh, she's about to turn over. So my little one's learning a new skill. She's learning to roll from her back to her belly and it's so stinking cute. But anyways, this is the Melt Gemini palette and this guy here is just stunning. These greens, I can't wait. I've kind of done like a really messy look just playing around one night before I was about to take my makeup off for the day, but I have not given this like a proper go um I, i'm so so excited these yellows here are like calling to me too for summer i like to wear a lot of yellow in summer so really 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 excited to try it out now the rest of these these are all palettes that i purchased over the past year i would say most of them uh i, I don't even remember when i purchased them now some of them more recent some of them about a year ago and I have not really used them yet so this one here i'll start off with is my lilac you a lot palette i've worn this once once in a video very pretty purple look i really enjoyed it but i really desperately need to wear this one more often another one that's not so new i think about this last year about a year ago and i have not worn it yet this is the huda medium palette i have the light and the <laughs> medium yeah and the light palette just makes me a little bit more comfortable. I'm not typically, I'm pretty fair typically. I'm, I, I feel more comfortable wearing these tones if I'm a little bit more self-tanned. And I don't get to do that very often. So I haven't reached for this. I think I've tried like some swatches here and there. Maybe I've done one eye look with it. But uh, I am going on an upcoming trip. And this is kind of on the chopping block whether or not I'm taking this one or another one that I'm going to talk about. Um, but this is a beautiful palette for summer. I really hope to get some good use from that one this summer. Another palette that I bought about a year ago and have not used yet is the At Foresight palette. This is the Christie and ColourPop collaboration, Raw Beauty Christie. And I remember seeing people talk about this palette and really enjoy it. I have not made myself reach for it yet, yet because I think I just said yet, yet. But anyways, because I am like very drawn to this color story for fall. Last fall, I was barely wearing makeup with all that was going on. So I'm hoping that this fall, me and this palette, we're going to get along. I'm going to get some good use out of this one. All right, yet another palette that I have only used like maybe twice. But this one is one that, this is probably my perfect neutral palette. I wanted this palette for so long. And when they finally put it on like clearance, I ended up snagging it. I just couldn't talk myself out of it any longer. And I think I've only used it, like I said, twice. This one, such a beautiful neutral palette to me. I love the pops of red in here. I love red eyeshadow like so much. So I need to get my hands on these. Especially, I'm like, this shade here? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I need, why haven't I worn that yet? I need to wear it ASAP. And then the next palette. This one is my, a newer palette to me. This was like kind of my first purchase when we moved back here into the US. And this is the one that I'm kind of leaning towards to pack for like our upcoming little getaway. And I think it's just so beautiful. This is the Lust for Dusk palette from ColourPop. 
I think this was released for them last fall, but I think this color story is so like kind of unique for what ColourPop tends to do. And I'm very excited. I think that with the wardrobe that I packed, I'm thinking about different looks, what I'm gonna wear with different clothing items. I'm, I'm like an over planner to that level. And I think this one will satisfy a lot of what I'm packing. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up bringing this one more than, I think this one gives me a little bit more variety compared to this little nine pan one from Huda. But this is another one that I, I think I've only used one time, which is criminal, because it's so freaking beautiful. Now these last three, I can't believe that I haven't used them. I, I mean like barely used them, if that. This one is the oldest one that I bought. I found it on sale at Ulta and then I had like a coupon and like so I got this at a ridiculous price um, the Mandalorian palette the child palette from Colourpop I love green shadows love them and for some reason I like find myself kind of intimidated by this kind of green palette because this is so unique when it comes to the other greens that I have in my collection when I wear green shadows they tend to be very like yellow based greens and these are almost kind of cool tone kind of greens and I think I've tried it out like once but I desperately need to give it another shot now this one here was given to me by Lou again and I like first of all I love the show and then the palette I actually find is very beautiful and I'm actually wearing it today that's right let's see if I can finish this out with a baby on my lap you see that pile of palettes you can play in them now this guy here again was gifted me by my friend and I find this color story so freaking beautiful. Lots of options for like smoky looks. I am actually wearing that like yellow matte shade all over my eyes today and then I have like a Suva liner kind of just popped right on my inner and outer corner. Very, very, very beautiful palette and I have not worn it enough for how beautiful it is. Definitely more of a fall palette though. And then this guy was my more recent purchase. This is the Darth Vader palette. What you doing? You trying to reach the palettes? And that's better. So this is the Darth Vader palette. Another one that I was suckered in for just for the fact that I had the other two, kind of. If I'm being honest, I love like to collect these now, I think. Although I didn't pick up like the big palette. I really am a, more of a fan of the ColourPop 9 pan palettes than they're like... I don't, I don't really get typically drawn into like their bigger palettes. But this guy had a red in it. It had Darth Vader on the front. I knew I was done for when I saw the release and I did yeah. order it like when it released. <laughs> yeah, and that that's everything. I, I say that's everything as if that wasn't just a ton of palettes in my collection that have barely been used, if not used at all. So definitely adding myself here today. Make sure you say hello in the comments and be sure to say hello to Gayless and we will see you in the next one.